This is amazing. Now you can create custom tools for Praise and AI. So what is custom tools? Why we need custom tools and why we need Praise and AI. Whenever you want to create agents to complete your task, you have loads of work to do. With only one agent, the quality of the output is not going to be good. With two agents, they can work together to make the output better. By having multiple agents, the output is going to be much better. But how can we do this in a simple way rather than going into much coding? That's when we have Praise and AI low code solution. This contains only one page. It's in YAML format, which is normal text format. And you provide the relevant information, the number of agents you want, what are their tasks, and what tools they are going to use. As simple as that. But even to make this much more simpler, you have the init function. So when you type Praise and AI hyphen hyphen init, and then you provide the task you want to complete. Research about the latest AI news and prepare a detailed report. This automatically creates this file for you as a starting step. You can modify further if required. So why we need custom tools? When agents work without any tools, they need to work with their knowledge or the data it has been trained with. We have our own knowledge. We can perform tasks without help of any tools, but that is going to be limited. Similarly, when agents are provided with tools, such as this research agent is provided with a custom tool called internet search tool. That means the research agent can perform internet search for any more reason news and then pass that to the writer agent. This opens loads of opportunities. Even this custom tool could be your own API. This custom tool could be your own software. By providing that custom tool to those agents, we are going to get more accurate, personalized results. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Praise and AI custom tools. In this, we are going to see how to set up, then how to create a custom tool, and finally how to make those agents work with the custom tool. First, we are going to use Grok to make these agents super fast. Then I'm going to show you about how you can integrate this with Olama. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install Praise and AI and then click enter. Now it's installing the required package. We are also going to install DuckDuckGo search. That means we are going to give the power of internet search as a tool to those agents. Now installing that. Next, we are going to export OpenAI API base. That is a Grok URL. Next, OpenAI model name. That is a Llama 370 billion parameter model. And finally, we are going to export OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. This API key is your Grok API key. By doing this, you are integrating this application with Grok. Now click enter. So these are the steps which we are going to follow. First, initial step. That is using INIT. Then we are going to create a custom tool. In your terminal, Prazen AI hyphen hyphen INIT, research about the latest AI news and prepare a detailed report. That's it. You are providing a task with init tag and click enter. This will automatically create the agents.yaml file. As you can see here, file name agents.yaml. That is the main agents playbook file created successfully. Now I'm going to open the file. So this is the file automatically generated. So first we have the research analyst agent. Next we have the content creator agent. So this automatically created two agents for me, but I can modify this. If I want to add one more agent, I can just copy this block and then I can just go to the next line and I can paste this and I can give a new name like content formatter. Once after that, you can modify the backstory, goal, the description, as per your requirements. But for now, I'm going to go with the original. Only two agents. First agent is going to research. Second agent is going to write content based on the research. Now we need a tool for this research analyst agent. That is an internet search tool. Now, if you see the folder, only one file is there called agents.yaml. But now we are going to create one more file. Right click new file. It's tools.py. That's it. You create one tool and then click enter. Now the new file is open. First from DuckDuck 
go search import ddgs so duckduckgo search is a python package to do internet search next from prison ai tools import base tool next we are creating a class called internet search tool and we are providing a description search internet for relevant information based on a query or latest news next we are creating a small function called hyphen run this is where you integrate your own application or your own api here i am integrating my own application which is duckduckgo search so this will automatically go and search the internet based on the query we provide that's it literally this much of code and you have created a tool and it's ready to be integrated with prison ai so just copy the name of the tool that is the internet search tool now go back to agents.yaml file there just add in the tools section just add internet search tool that's it literally by adding this tool here you have created a custom tool and integrated that with prison ai that much simple it is now i'm going to run this code in your terminal type prison ai and then click enter now you can see it started working it's doing an internet search it's getting the results based on the internet research it got these information generative ai customized chatbots multimodal ai and much more then the second agent used all the information provided by the first agent after doing internet research and it creates the final rewritten content now we have successfully ran these agents and created the output we expected now to run autogen just type prison ai hyphen hyphen framework space autogen that is the only change and click enter now you can see the autogen framework started running and the agents such as the research analyst agent started using the internet search tool and it's searching the internet using the duckduckgo search then that information is passed to the content creator agent then the content creator agent is going to use that information and prepare a finalized article like this this is amazing you can just see the simplicity by changing this framework to crew ai then it's going to run crew ai agents we have seen how to integrate the tool with grok now finally we're going to see how to integrate this with olama to do that first provide the open ai model name that is llama3 then provide open ai api base which is this localhost 11434/v1 that's it make sure you've downloaded olama from olama.com and olama pull llama3 to pull the llama3 model that's it now you are ready to run using olama one thing to note is that these models are small models which are not as good as large models in regards to function calling or using tools so keep that in mind and probably you might need much larger model compared to llama3 or even fine tuned version of llama3 to get this working but i'm just going to show you how to run this now after doing this same as before just type prison ai and then click enter that's it in this way you are able to integrate olama with prison ai now we have seen how to create a custom tool and assign that to those agents using grok and olama i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching